I have a Raspberry Pi here, and uh, some people reported that after they've updated their Raspberry Pi and they've done the uh, RPI config, RPI dash update, and after they updated their kernel and they reboot, and all they get is a uh, red light and a blank screen, and the keyboard doesn't work, uh, the Wi Fi doesn't work, nothing works, and all they get is a red light. Well, the problem, one of the, one of the possible problems is, is that after you uh, upgraded the uh, kernel, uh, it may not boot because of the uh, because of what's in the boot uh, partition, which is the first partition of the uh, uh, SD card here. It's the SD card, the first partition here, the boot partition, what the, the newly updated files may not be booting, so you you can restore that. And what, what you would need is to uh, turn off the computer and take the card out and get one of these uh, these readers. I have a I.O. gear uh, to good one, a card reader. And you put it in a regular PC and um, so after you plug the card, the SD card into a regular PC like a uh, Linux, I have it plugged into a Linux machine. You could do it. Yeah, it, it would be a Linux machine. Um, so uh, partition one, I have it mounted, and I have this window here open, and this is the uh, boot. The first one is boot partition, so it's already in boot. So I have the folder here, the boot, and the other one is uh, mounted as a. Uh, uh, as, as root, and here the rest of the file system here you got bin, boot, home, lib, etc, uh, and all that stuff. And all you gotta do is actually open up boot.bak right there you got boot.bak and that's on the same SD card that wasn't booting but the files are still there so that there's not there's no actual file corruption. So you go in there and you just highlight everything, just copy. Copy and in the uh first partition mount here, I deleted all the files, but uh you would have had the original files that were updated from uh the RPI up update. So I would just paste it here. So you just paste it there, and you're overwriting all the files. So again, in partition two of the SD card, you have all the entire file system, and you go to boot.bak, copy all the files, go into the first partition, which is uh, boot, which would be mounted as boot when you boot it up. And just paste it there, overriding everything, and then uh, we want to eject the uh, disk here. Eject the DV slash uh, SDB without the partitions, just uh, the entire disk, and uh, it should just work. Okay, so it's syncing and the light's off, so that's not safe to unplug that. Sure. Check it out. And then plug it in back into the uh, Raspberry Pi, so I got the SD card back in there. The Raspberry Pi, and I'm just going to boot it up. And turn on my monitor here. And it's up. Yeah, one of those LCD displays. So, as you can see, it's booting up. Okay, no problems at all. So, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the uh, 
SD card. It's just the boot kernel that was updated that had problems. Okay, so that's it.